Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, yeah Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey, uh -oh. what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh, no. Dumb, Oreo. hit that music, brother. Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Hey, no. Hey. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! This is Wrestling Observer Live. What do you think of Oreo, Granny? Oreo what? The big whale. I hate him. Oh, I don't know much about him. You've never met a villain of this magnitude hitting low blows, and yeah, he enjoys it. Channel 7 in Seattle, they employ it. Sean Garrett is something to embody. My man got an ear infection in Hawaii. Listen to me closely. He's the best there's ever been. Emmy nominated, but we know he's gonna win. Wow. Ten stars. Nice. That wow. was a good one. Good. You know what else is nice? I didn't start recording this show until just then. Excellent. Give me a hundred dollars, Tim Page. <laughs> <laughs> That's the winner. <laughs> Hits his opponents in the head with an end. He got blown up. Now they gotta go home. S A J W N. <laughs> I didn't get it. Can I get a copy of this for my ringtone, by the way? Yeah. His name is Sean Garrett. He won an Emmy. True, I did. Hammerlock by Eddie. Hand pin not. Knuckle hot. Or hot. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like arm. Sure, Hand, yeah. pin, knuckle, <laughs> hot. Hand yeah. lock. The hand lock. Hand lock, all right. Yeah. I like hand, pin, knuckle, hot. With all this draft stuff going on, taking up my <laughs> wheel of fortune and all that, uh, <laughs> what is our group going to do with the – are you going to have a draft? Transfer? No, so, whatever. like, I transfer you to Wrestling Observer Radio and – Yeah. Oh. Transfer me out of here. <laughs> wow. Ray Roy is erect, okay? <laughs> Meaning he's standing up tall. So Crush goes up behind him, all right? Okay. Where is this going? Does he reach around him? No, 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 no. Because his brain began to think of many things. First it thought, I'm erect. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. He stands straight up tall, and he goes, Never smack your head when you're erect. I do have Peacock on. And Crush stands up straight erect. <laughs> Was I wrong? What did he, why, why did he do that? Sean, come here. <laughs> I watched this a thousand times. You know what's funny is every now and then there will be a t-shirt that will come out, and you'll hear fans go, who would ever wear that shirt? The fact is, people. Wrestling fans, yes. I think one of their most popular shirts is something very similar to Scissor Me Daddy Ass. Yeah. After laying down these... Plain, simple, easy to follow rules. They say it's dealer's choice. You pick the rules. What? What? I I don't have any idea what's going on here. I'm I'm completely lost. He went the extra mile. He got their theme songs mashed up together. And of course, friends don't shake hands. Friends hug. And they're still an amazing pair. 
you know, we're not quite there yet, obviously. But th- this is the beginning days of Sammy and the Bloodline, where it was just supposed to be a thing for a couple of weeks. But it was so fucking great that they ended up getting eight months out of it. Yes. As we discussed ad nauseum on the show, our friend Sean has been nominated for multiple Emmys. If he wins, I'm going to take them from him and send them to Sandy Fork, Delaware. Because everyone involved in the production of this next segment deserves multiple awards. Jeff Jarrett is mowing. Now, I need to stop right here. You don't understand the nobility Jarrett was carrying himself with as he mowed this lawn. This was gold. Do you hear me? You know. Gold. But I did expect that the first match that we saw all four of these guys in would be like a fantastic match. But instead, it was it was all telling the story of how to get to that fantastic match. I'm not saying I didn't like this. What I'm saying is that, you know, I think that they need to remind us that uh, this is a pay-per-view main event and it's going to tear the house down. Because with these four guys, it absolutely should. We open with draft results. NXT stars, NXT superstars who have been drafted to Raw or SmackDown. None of whom are Braun Breaker. Pretty deadly to SmackDown. Thank God. One of them shared a tweet where they were sopping wet on the riverbank. And the text simply read, wasn't deep enough. He raises the hand up, but also is looking up at that North American title. You ever heard of subtlety? Not here. This Tyler Bate hasn't. They should have edited in two laser beams (laughs) coming out of his eyeballs. Last week, when Kiana and the Virgin had that... She tried slapping me, grabbed the hand, and then she said, I never loved you. They broke up. And he he cried on the fornicator's shoulder. Uh Well, that night she came to his hotel room. Ah. And she deflowered him. Ah. And gave him some business advice. Hmm. Yes. I see, see. Uh, not that Why good. else would a man turn down a drink with two bays? I couldn't think of a reason. Well, I couldn't think of that's because you were a reason. fucking virgin for a long time, goddammit. It took me a while, yeah. Yes, that's what happened here. Him and Kiana are together. He has been deflowered. Mm. He is no longer a virgin. And now, now that one goal is achieved, yeah, you know how it goes. Interesting. Yes, he's determined. If this is actually what they're doing, and they're that developed, then it is the best storyline ever. It's, it's, if that's where it goes... Just wait, brother. If that's where it goes, this will officially have surpassed the bloodline. J.T. McDonough versus Dragon Lee. Oh, what a great match. I just gotta say, I am going to miss Booker T calling J.D. McDonough that number one stunner. What a name Duke University would be. Right. If only we have a college He's called gonna Duke. fucking sell the land to Kiana! She's taken over all of NXT! She's going to have all that land with that PG bar. She's going to have all that la- this land with the fake fucking school. She's taken over. You know what's funny? is There's so many people who are like, I don't want to hear about NXT. I don't want to watch that show. And then Granny comes on to talk about the Young and the Wrestlers. Like, please, let's have more Young and the Wrestlers reviews. You know what this fucking show is? It's the fucking Young and Wild and Reckless. That's what this show is. It's preposterous, and I love it. 